Hey, what's going on guys? It's Austin here, and today we're going to be going over the stored solutions for the ultimate video editing PC. So we're going to be starting off with two drives, but this is definitely not the most optimal setup, nor is it the final setup of the PC build. So first of all, let's start off with the boot drive. And that's going to be this, um, as you can see, I, I, I am an avid fan of the Samsung SSD line. I use it in my uh, Zenbook. But we're here we're going to be using the Samsung 840 series 250 gig SSD. This is just a very reliable brand of SSDs. It's not going to be the fastest thing in the world, but SSDs just in their nature are extremely fast. So we're going to be loading all of our programs and windows right onto this drive. And for media, we're going to be using this one terabyte Western Digital Caviar Blue. You can see it's still in like the packaging. I'm not going to take it out until I'm ready to install, but this is basically going to be a media drive for all of the video files that I have and other games that I'm not really playing or things like that but basically everything else is going to go onto this drive I'm only going to be going to be using the SSD for you know the main programs and the main things I'll be using on a day-to-day -day basis that I'm really going to need that speed for um, and let me just get this out the way I am going to be using you probably haven't seen this in years but yeah I'm going to be using a CD drive um, as well as an SD reader, I don't have that with me right now, but I'm probably never going to use this, but I said, hey, it's 20 bucks, why not just have one for that one instance where I'll probably need one. Um, I'm not even going to be installing Windows using this, because installing off of a USB is actually a lot faster than st installing straight from a DVD, so I'm actually not going to use this ever, maybe, um, but it doesn't really hurt to have one these things are getting phased out every day so if you don't really need these in one of your builds because you might not ever use it and we'll see if I use it I probably won't but it doesn't really hurt to have one so moving back into the main storage um, this is gonna be the setup right here and there are a lot of alternatives to this um, You've probably heard a lot about RAID setups. I'm just going to give you a quick explanation of like the two most popular ones. There's RAID 0, which is basically you have two drives that act as one. So I could have two Western Digital, you know, one terabyte drives acting as one drive, basically to give you twice the speed, although it's never really going to be twice the speed, but it's going to be significantly faster than one drive. However, using a RAID 0 array is kind of dangerous because if one of those drives fail, you lose all of your data on both of the drives. So that's not really, you have to be pretty careful about doing that and you have to get a really reliable hard drive um, if you're going to be doing a RAID 0. And if you're going to be doing a RAID 0, you want to have like regular and consistent backups. Um, that's where you can do a RAID 1, which is redundant, and you'll be able to basically have two identical drives. Um, Basically, one is going to be a backup of the other, so you'll always have a updated backup copy of all of your data in case anything ever happens to your hard drive. Um, but Western Digital, uh, I went with the blue rather than like the green or black uh, because this is basically just the mainstream one. The green ones, this has faster speeds than the green ones, even though the uh, green ones might be a little bit more quiet, but the case that I got should be pretty quiet, so I should be good with this. And I don't really need the black as I'm not really going to be using this as a boot drive or anything. This is just going to be a place to temporarily hold files that I'm not going to be using. For example, when I'm going to be ed editing a project, even this project, um, if I was editing, I'll probably just have the files on the SSD when I first import them into Windows. And then when I'm done with everything, I'll export the project onto the one terabyte hard drive just to keep a backup copy in case I'm, I'll ever need any of those files again. So you don't really need a particularly fast hard drive. I wouldn't go with five or 5400 RPM just because it's slower than 7200 RPM and these drives are really cheap. The price per gigabyte is like 0 0.008 cents per gigabyte. So, you know, going with the Western Digital Green or Blue, either one of those will do you fine. And if again, if you want to do a RAID setup, you should definitely do your research and make sure that the RAID configuration that you want to set up is right for you. Um, if you have really sensitive data, um, loading all that onto a RAID 0 array might not be the best option for you, so you you want to have some redundancy in your array. But um, definitely go with an SSD. These are the prices are definitely going down on these. I got this for around $150 on Amazon. Um, you can find the pricing in the uh, description. But these prices are really coming down, and you don't necessarily need the fastest SSD. Um, just one of these mainstream ones will do. If I wanted like an OCC 
Vertex 4 that'd be a lot pricier than this one and you know this is the ultimate video editing PC but it's also the most sensible one so I figured this is a pretty good value SSD uh, for the price it's less than a gigabyte per dollar um, so you know the speeds the speeds are gonna be pretty good on this relatively good so these are the storage solution this is the storage solution we're gonna be using again I'm probably going to add a lot more drives as uh, I start uh, you know making more videos and you know just needing the space um, that's what it's that's basically what's the good part about building your own PC you know which parts you can put into it and you have the expandability options there if I wanted to add another SSD I could be able to do that and you know just pop it right in and I'd be ready to go so that's gonna be the storage solution for the ultimate video editing PC if you guys like this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button lets me know that you guys are liking this series and if you guys you know are excited about the final build definitely hit that thumbs up button make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you get all of the latest updates again you don't want to miss the final build because it's gonna be a pretty nice video showing you all the parts that we're talking about actually going into the computer and running some benchmarks and seeing how fast this bad boy will actually run so make sure you subscribe for that this has been austin thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video mm.